Hello viewers. In this series we are learning about Red Hat clustering in RHEL 8 server. In my first video I have showed the prerequisite side for your PCS pacemaker cluster and currently I am running this system. If I bring my virtual system here, a virtual server, you can see the two node and one, one node which is going to act as a storage server. But now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to install the packages and configure the cluster, the initial cluster setup. Okay, so if you have not watched my previous video just before this one, please go through because that's talk about the repository as well. And this is one key component that we need to understand. In RHEL 8, the HO packages are not provided by Red Hat by default it is it was provided by Red Hat on the previous uh, version which is an RHL 7 or RHL 6 but in RHL 8 we need to download that separately and for that you need an account with Red Hat so if you do not have a Red Hat account what you have to do you can use CentOS server to set up the PCS Space Mega cluster right and once you bring your system up you would need to run this command to enable the high availability repository and after that you would be able to download and install the package and if you are running RHL system and your system is registered with Red Hat you can run this command to enable the repository and once you are done with this you would be able to install the package and once you install the package, we are going to authenticate the server. We need to set a password for this user. When we when we basically install the package, there is a user going to create which is called HA cluster, and there won't be any shell for that user because that requires to log in from the web interface. And once we are done with that, what we are going to do, we are going to enable the authentication from for the, both the servers, for the node from each other it would be able to communicate and then we are going to bootstrap the cluster the initial setup and we are going to enable the services required services so let's go ahead and install the package first and let's just enable this terminal as well clear the screen and run command yum install pcs pacemaker fans agents all okay these are the three packages we require and the first package like I said it's for the web interface and we need to ensure that service is running and also this is the main package for PCS cluster this will basically provide all the libraries and binaries for PCS cluster and the third one would going to provide us a bunch of fence agent that can be used for your cluster irrespective you are using hardware uh, which is physical hardware if you are using Dell, HP or whatever hardware it is you would be able to use the fence agent and for VMware agent there is a VMware SOP agent you can be able to use that and in my videos I am going to show you SBD, fence, uh, how to configure and uh, how that works okay for this one I'm just going to install and configure the initial setup okay so let's go ahead and install that package there are a bunch of packages going to install it's about 153 of them let's just pause the video and resume back once it is completed okay so now that packages are installed the next step what we need to do is set the root uh, set the password for HA cluster so let's run that command password HA cluster and I'm setting a simple password which is red hat okay so now this password needs to set on both node like I am showing you here and so once you are done with this you have to start service let's do enable pcsd minus minus now okay so this pcsd service needs to start on both the nodes 
and when I say enable minus minus now it basically enable and start the service both at one single command okay so now the service is started and running on both the server we would be able to run the next command which is for authentication if I just scroll it up here and this is the command we have to use okay so let's just run this command and you don't need to run this command on both the nodes so let's just disable this party and just run this on first server and just give the cluster name cluster node 1 and cluster node 2 it would going to ask me a password and username that basically the HA cluster credential that we just set a password which is redhead and now when I given this you can see it is authorized and it is able to communicate with the other node and it gives an output saying authorized right so it can communicate now each other okay so once we're done with this the next step what we can do we can go to our web interface and give your server IP and port triple two four okay so for my this server first node server IP is 148 and suite 148 right so let's just try to access this site and this is the login prompt you'll get and once you get this prompt you'll have to log in with the username HA cluster and like we said the password red hat you can log in with that and once you logged in there are a few things actually you can do many things with uh, the web interface like removing existing cluster adding an existing cluster destroy cluster creating a new cluster and so on right so I'm not going to use the web interface instead I'm going to use the command line to set up my cluster and to bootstrap the cluster there is the command I given you over here this is the command let's just copy that and provide the server name as well server name is this one and this one and let's just run this command and it is successfully bootstrap the cluster and you can see it is starting it gives an uh, output saying starting but it looks like still in the process of starting the service and all so when I run precious status to check the basic st state of my cluster currently nothing much running I just bootstrap the cluster and there is no resource running you can see there is no resource here there is no stone it configured current DC is none it is not identified stack is unknown and the both nodes are unclean let me clear the screen and rerun it and see if there is any change and now it looks like it is found the stack it also assigned a DC which is cluster node 2 we are going to discuss more about DC in my coming videos and you can see the other two nodes are currently in online state and there is no resources are running and we can see the daemon status which is causing pacemaker these are the two primary processes they are supposed to be running on the server currently it is active but not enabled so we need to make sure we enable that service because if your system reboots your PCS services which is crossing and pacemaker would not going to start so let's just start and enable the service PCS cluster enable minus minus all so if you can run this command PCS cluster enable it would just going to 
enable this service on this particular node if i say minus minus all it would going to start the service and enable the service on both the node so i'm running that command and now it is started on both the service and if you would like to see the status you can run systemctl command to check for corosync it is running and as well pacemaker it is also running so this service is supposed to be running on both the servers so let's just make sure it is running on both the server corosync when it is successfully given output exit 0 go for pacemaker service and check whether that is also running or not so uh, one second it is asking oh I did a mistake here I'm not sure why it says password here let's just disable it and uh, for now and check it manually system CTL status and crossing is running looks like okay I did a mistake here and here as well so pacemaker is running there is some error for now we can ignore that okay so if I just clear my screen now on this terminal and do PCS status everything looks good and there are basics basic property we can see the, the cluster wide configuration and we can run this command pcs property and you can see it is crossing and dc version and watch dog is currently in false state and there is nothing much set uh, basically we can set many more stuff here if i run P pcs property minus minus all you would see all these options we have those we can set as per the requirement okay so for now it was just to set up the cluster for this video I'm going to show you the configuration of SBD which is fence device configuration in my next video so stay tuned until next video thank you so much for watching have a good day